Hello, hello, what's up YouTube fam? Welcome back to my channel, Turn Wisdom. My name is Anna and I'm back with another pick a card for you guys. So today's pick a card topic is what is currently lurking in the shadows? As I feel like right now we're in Scorpio season and uh, we're, you know, in fall going into winter, um, well, depending where you're on the hemisphere. Um, I feel like the shadow energy is at its peak during this time. So what is currently lurking in the shadows? How, however you want to view, whether it brings fear, whether it brings mystery, whether it brings unknown to you, or whether it brings triggering to you, whatever it is that this, this shadow energy might be reflecting back to you. I mean, you want to know what it is, then this is your pick a card. So in front of me, I have three piles. So pile one, pile two, and pile three. Go ahead, pick on the pile that you feel that is going to have the resonance for you. Go ahead and pause the video if you feel like you need to. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And um, if you're ready, then I'll see you guys at your pile. All right, so you've picked pile one. If this is your reading. So what is it that you need to know? So what is currently lurking in the shadow for you guys? Um, I feel like for you guys, there's a lot of mystery um, in the shadows for you. I feel like there's a lot of energy that is calling you that, or that is attracting you, but it's like you don't know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like It's like in the shadows, you know how when sometimes you see eyes or you see like red eyes, but you don't know what it is. All you see is the eyes. Like That's what I'm feeling from the shadowy energy. And I'm not saying that it's literally that, but I'm just saying like that's the, the feeling and that's the imagery that they're giving me for me to, to understand it better. And again, there's something that is attracting you. There's something that is calling calling you here that is something that is calling you um to trust or there's a need to kind of bring structure or there's an, a need to bring some type of adjustments into your life um and I, and I feel like for uh for many of you guys this might feel a little um intimidating for some of you guys it might feel a little a little strange it might feel a little uh, daring for you guys because some of you guys need to come out of your comfort zone or need to come out of this um, limited space that you might have always found yourself comfortable so the shadow side right now the things that is calling and that is lurking in the shadow is is what i'm hearing is potential i feel like there's a sense of potential because um there is a sense of preparation here something that you have been preparing for a while for some of you guys it's something that you guys have been manifesting for a while or they have been keeping it in the dark or been working something in the dark um but again this is something that you guys have been preparing whether you have been preparing for it or, or spirit has been preparing you for it and this has you know been needing for you to kind of take action here but again there's this sense of energy that is calling you to kind of venture out or to trust because there is there's a sense of cause and effect here and i feel like um in order for you to create this cause there has to be an effect and i feel like for the effects for some of you guys might look might not look so good and for others might look a little you know out of your comfort zone but however it might look for you i feel like it's time to do it because you guys is definitely uh, this is the need of of detaching from something but again needing to detach from the comfort zone here so pile one pile one Hope it's so far making sense. And I feel like I needed to slow down right here because I was really, really going in there. And again, I feel like, you know, again, there's something lurking in the shadow that is calling you here to answer the call. So we have Page of Pentacles. So there's something here that it's needing for you to assess, needing something, maybe it needs more preparation, it needs uh, more hard work here, it needs more something to, to again, restructure, bring structure. Um, because I'm just being drawn to her putting that, I'm drawn to the coin in her arm, in her hand and putting, you know, putting that coin in the bag. But again, it's like, it's like giving the energy of you have it in the bag. You, you, you know, you got this. Like, again, like I said, there's a sense that there's a lot of potential here. But again, there's limitations here. There's comfort here that is holding you back. And that could be creating a lot of, you know, stagnation or maybe a little bit of worriness, even a little bit of scaredness, even a little bit of, you know, like some, nothing is really happening or I don't know what's going on. But again, it's like, there's a need to kind of go bigger here there's a need to put more effort there's a need to restructure here make some adjustments the holy mountain yeah because i feel like there's new peaks to to reach here for you guys so this new peak and these new um insights this new perspective this new levels in your life that wants to occur it needs you to kind of 
go on this journey of self evaluation of self reflection here because you know that you need to um go big or go home or you know that you need to venture out or you know you need to take your business to the next um to the next level you know that you need to take this relationship to the next level you know you need to take this project to the next level you know you need to take whatever this is this manifestation this seed that you've been wanting or you have been working on building you know it's time to take it to the next level so with that being said how can you climb this mountain? What is it that you need to release? Because in order to climb this mountain, we need to simplify our lives. Because if we're carrying too much weight here, then we cannot we cannot um, rise here. We cannot race to this state of consciousness or, or race to the state of being here that is being offered to us, that is calling us. But again, it could be stirring a little bit of fear here for us. The staff. Yeah, needing to take the initiative, taking authority in your life. And I feel like this is your chance. Yeah, see what I'm saying? See things from a, uh, a higher perspective. Seeing things a little bit of different here. We have four of cups. Yeah, something, something is starting to get a little stagnant. Something is getting to start a little bit boring. Something is getting to start um, slowed down here that is maybe not bringing uh, as much as fulfillment as it did at the beginning with that Ace of Cups here. Now we're in the Four of Cups. So this situation might not bring in any fulfillment anymore. It's no longer sustaining that that fulfillment here. So what do we? how do we need to see things right now? Or maybe we're seeing things from a different perspective and we need to raise our perspective so that we can release ourselves from this lower vibration because this fear that we're, that we're seeing or that we're feeling or we're that, that sorry a I, I, uh, call came in um again there is a need to take a step forward here okay so in order to release that anxiety but in order to release that anxiety the only thing that you could do here is follow your intuition is to follow your own inner light you have to follow your own inner compass in this darkness in this mystery in this dark forest that you're about to encounter because you, you need to face the darkness in order to see the things that bring light to you so that you can bring this transformation and bring this creativity to bring this wisdom to anchor this new information be like okay oh okay now i get it now i have to see because most of the time we can't see all this situation or see these facts or see the situations in the light so the only way that we can see it is in the darkness. So what the things that is lurking for you in the darkness is potential, it's growth, it's evolution, it's the next level and the next phase of your life. Because whatever this, wherever um, step or phase that you might have, that you are in right now, it's not bringing any longer any, any fulfillment. It's not bringing any, any system, sustainability is what I'm hearing here. So it's time to see things from a higher perspective so that we can know how to get to that mountain. And again, it comes back to simplifying our lives of letting go of certain situations here. So we have the call drone. So I'll definitely I feel like some of you guys have been manifesting this situation, have been working on building or whatever this is, blending all these things in this cauldron in order to make the potion, right? In order to make the potion of life, in order to create the elixir of life is what I'm hearing. So in order to create that elixir of life, we need to blend all these situations or maybe even um, release all this situation or maybe even sacrifice all these parts of ourselves or parts of our situation in order to create life from this elixir in order to create a new um you know uh, answer or potential here your dream needs a practical plan again yes yes and again your manifestation needs a practical plan right now my power ones and i feel like this is what's scaring you you guys right now and i feel like this is what's lurking in the shadow again it's potential my power ones you guys are afraid of your potential you guys are afraid of your greatness you guys have this potential to be this powerful person to be in this place of stability a uh, place of monetary wealth and this place of this like i don't know like of of luxury like you guys are meant to have this money in your life you guys are meant to be big in your life you guys are meant to be comfortable in your life but not this type of comfortable okay there's a difference between comfortable between being comfortable with having enough and being comfortable with having enough or being or being comfortable and where you're not you don't have enough but you're okay with and being being comfortable with not having enough Okay, so again, your dreams need a practical plan. So in order to get to that mountain, 
how what is it that you need to release to get to that mountain so whatever that is that you're going to release is how you're going to create this elixir of life here and that's how you're going to be alchemizing this situation and that's how you it's going to allow you to kind of have that courage or to drink this elixir to have the courage to to go through this forest through this journey of releasing yeah so surrender to effortless surrender to effortless oh i was talking about compass lost compass Getting back to integrity. We have card number 20 here. And then Star Brothers. Horus Energy. Protection. Loyalty. Safety. Trust. Yeah. You guys. You're you're being. You're being reassured of safe travel here. My power one. Okay. You're, be, you're, you're being. Guaranteed that you will pass this journey. This initiation. This cycle. However you want to view it. This bump on the road. You know. You're, you're being encouraged. You're being reminded that you are going to be safe and protected through this journey and through this uh, you know let's leave it at journey okay so have trust have trust because you are manifesting here and you're meant to manifest whatever this is you're meant to bring life to whatever this manifestation it is because again like i said in the beginning this is something that you guys might have been working on or have been having a goal and maybe you guys lost um focus here for a while maybe you guys lost track of the goal that what it really was because you guys were going through this transformation and that's okay and it was creating a lot of anxiety because again there's levels to this shit and sometimes you know we have to create certain things and that's what it gives us the growth and what that's what gives us the skills and that's what gives us the the tools in order to take to the next thing and um you know create something different and and push ourselves beyond our limitations from before we did in the past project and what we're working on now or on the seed or the gold or the manifestation or however you want to view it so there's definitely here new new um new potential here new collaborations new hands coming in here for you guys but this is also agreements like i'm getting agreements here but again after the tunnel after the darkness the light will come at the end of the tunnel okay so again i feel like again you guys might have lost track here so your shadows is kind of um mirroring like hey you know reflecting hey Remember, you remember when, you know, this was the, I don't know, the main focus. Remember what this was the goal that we were working on. We remember that this was the the start point of the situation or of this journey. And it's like, again, you're getting back to integrity. So listen to your, to your compass, listen to your uh, north node. Okay, listen to your north node because this is about making this manifestation come true but also diving into you guys' potential because you guys have more potential you guys are this is not where you guys are meant to be stopping there's definitely more that you're meant to be doing so go into this transformation with the trust and faith and all as well as having a lot of patience for yourself um you know don't be dishonest with yourself honor your truth sorry some cards fell let me pick them up real quick but again, you know, there is a transformation. You guys are like the phoenix um, rising. You guys are uh, going through major changes. But this is in regards to your passion, creativity, and where you guys have been having a lot of, I mean, again, experiencing a lot of stillness, maybe some stagnation here, maybe some self-sabotage here, maybe some poverty consciousness. But again, this is about how you want to be comfortable, okay, my power one. So this is what's currently lurking in the shadows for you is potential. So don't limit yourself right now my pile one because you're definitely don't let the unknown scare you right now because yes the horizon might look scary but trust me it is promising and you by crossing this this forest this dark forest you guys are going to be finding so much growth so much evolution so much blessing so much more more better in the other side okay my pile one so i hope this helped i hope this resonated let me know what you guys think don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time all right pile two pile two so we pick pile two so what is it that you need to know what is currently lurking in the shadows so let's see what eyes i connect with your guys' energy what is currently lurking in the shadows pile two pile two like i'm getting a lot of energy of you need to pay attention for a pile two I feel like there's a lot of truth being hidden in the shadows for my pile too. 
and like i feel like there's a lot of clarity hidden in the shadow for you guys but again there's a need to align your energy to to spirit or your higher self or connecting yourself with, with grounding but again you guys could be seeing a lot of 11 11 1 1 1 um but again spirit has been wanting to communicate but there's again there has been a need to pay attention there's a lot of truth lying hidden in the darkness for you guys in the shadows yeah and it's like the big picture is is hidden from you guys right now like there's no clarity to something right now so again the big picture is hidden in the darkness it's hidden behind some curtains but if you are a if you're you would be able to listen to the guidance or to pay attention to the guidance or to the signs that are currently happening around you it will it will like help you feel more maybe even aligned or have more patience or feel more comfort i guess if you want to say um knowing that there's there is something there like i don't know if i'm making sense Because this, because spirit has been very, very discreet with you guys, and there has been need, and has been withholding a lot of details towards something here from a pile too, and you guys haven't had the opportunity to have the clear vision to whatever has been lurking in the shadows. Because again, the bigger picture is hidden from you right now, my pile too. Okay, this is what's currently lurking in the in the in the shadows for you. So if it's, nothing is making sense right now. It's because the the truth is hidden in the shadows. So if you allow yourself to pay attention to your surroundings or to your intuition, you're going to be able to be able to bring light to what is hidden in the darkness. Okay. Yeah. Fool's embrace. Transmuting pain. And I feel like with this card is making me feel like the reason why this is hidden is because mm, how do i lay this out it is because it's not what you wanted but it's what you needed this is kind of like a blessing in disguise as well and this is uh, something about needing to accept the truth or not wanting to accept the truth allowing yourself be swayed by the illusions refusing to see because again, it's like it's here, it's in the shadows, but you're refusing to see. Because it's either causing pain here, it's either bringing some tower moment here, it's either bringing some type of of truth here and where you're like, it's you're going to feel like you're going to shatter here. And this is why it's been in the darkness or this is why it's been in the shadows, lurking in the shadows until you're ready to face the truth. Yeah, ten of wands and the fool. Woo! As soon as you guys allow yourselves to let go of this burden or of this energy is when this breakthrough will happen. It's when things will make sense. It's when you're going to rise up because whatever this is, it has to burn to the ground my pile too. I don't know what this is about. If it makes sense, let me know in the comments because I want to know. But again, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look different to everybody depending on where you're at in your life. But I feel like once you allow yourself to release this burden and pick up your head and see see it for what it is, it's when this breakthrough energy is going to happen. It's when the caterpillar is going to be able to be born. Again, rebirth here. Because there's something here that needs to die, that needs to burn, needs to go through ashes. The hunter, because you've been feeling like the hunter. I mean, the hunted instead of being the hunter here. My pile too. Something has been plaguing you. Yeah, the void. Stop. Embrace winter, great cosmic womb. Animal guardian, trust your instincts. Again, hold on. I want to look at the book for this card because I'm being guided to look at the at the card here. I'm seeing right when I open to it's like right there. So The invitation of this card is rely on your own skills to traverse the thick forest you are in to reach your destination. You need to follow the tracks left by spirit to claim your bounty, which is already prepared and being offered to you. Do not follow the maps drawn by others as they will not lead you true. Instead, become the peace, the map maker, find your internal compass and use all your senses, including your common sense. Don't settle for the roadkill. It could be poison. Be careful what you do. Do not become the prey of your desires and fantasies. Remember to not want more 
than you need so you are not guided by unbridled ambition it is okay to come home empty-handed again this is something about accepting the truth here my pile two okay this is something here that you guys need to accept the truth because this is what has been keeping you in the void and once you start feeding into this energy or once you start being in this maybe in this pain or in this victim mentality or whatever fate uh, or again whatever space that you've been in because again your shadows this energy is is hunting you it's hunting you right now so you're the prey right now and once you stop being the prey and start being the hunted meaning hunting your own desires not hunting them for others because again maybe you're chasing something that is not for you so you need to stop chasing what is not for you Maybe you guys need to stop chasing the bag and start chasing the dream. Maybe you guys need to stop living for others and carrying the baggage for others and the pain for others so that you can start being who you are and start living for you and start hunting down your dreams and des desires. So again, trusting your intuition right now because I feel like, again, you guys are in this void of course. You guys are in this void of course moon energy here. So uh, you guys been in this wintry energy, again, this cosmic womb. So again, like I meant, the cosmic womb is, again, like the cocoon, like, just like I mentioned. Once you accept whatever this is and you let whatever this burn or transmute, because again, for a lot of you guys, it's this anger, it's this resentment type of energy. For some of you guys, it's it's just this needing to see the truth and this lie that you've been telling yourself. A lot of you guys have been lying to yourself, maybe lying to others. Whatever this is, once you allow yourself this situation to die, is when you're going to be able to be reborn and be and come out of this cocoon. And here, the great cosmic womb, it talks about the, the, the cocoon. It's about this gestation um, phase. It's about choosing who you want to be because the butterfly cannot grow if it doesn't if it can't choose because i don't know if you guys knew or not but not every caterpillar is born into a butterfly it's either born into a butterfly or a moth so the butterfly and the moth are not debating within, the, within themselves who they want to be because they already know who they're meant to be thus they become who they're meant to be which is that i am energy thus they are able to hatch so if you're in this space of you don't know who you're meant to be or you don't know who i am then it's going to be hard for you to come out of this just station area it's going to be hard for you to come out of this void so trust your intuition because you're being carried by spirit here you're being encouraged by spirit because this is a time to give them rather to take okay and again and it's a um, that virgo energy and new moon energy and again that's this is this void energy Okay, so this is a time to give to yourself. This is a time to feed to yourself. This is the time to pour into yourself. Then rather than take or allow others to keep taking from you. Okay, praying mantis. Some of you guys could be seeing a lot of um, animal totems. Surrender unhealthy relationships. Awaken your vulnerability. And then we have number 25. Um, I believe that's the, what card is that? It is the birth card, number 25. And it's, I love how it came out at the end. This is the birth card. And this is a big statement for my pile too, because after this situation, there is a birth here. There's a birth, rebirth assured assured for you okay so don't stress about any of this okay you just keep trusting your intuition keep going through whatever you need to um go through know that you know especially if people are leaving your your life or you're surrendering a lot of relationships but again this is about relationships that you maybe maybe be been living for instead of living for yourself so it's time to awaken to your own vulnerability meaning awaken to your own emotions what are your emotions telling you where is it feeling unhealthy where is it not being met where is your emotional needs not being met where is it that you have to find yourself sacrificing or leaving parts of yourself in order to please others where is it have you been finding yourself that you had been wearing a mask and be parading around this facade that has not been you so again there is something here that you guys need to see that the truth 
truth is laying is is lurking in the shadows for my pile too but after you allow yourself to see the truth that is hiding in the shadows for you and lurking in the shadows is when you're going to be able to experience this birth and this rebirth in your life my pile too and I feel like this, that's a powerful message in itself for my pile two. And I feel like it's making a lot of sense for my pile two right now. So again, I feel like you guys have been also praying for change, been wanting change. But you guys maybe haven't been feeling, not knowing what, or been feeling like, you know, been under this type of manipulation. Or you guys have been trying to manipulate other people to change with you guys. Whatever it is, whatever it is. Accept the truth with what it is so that you could go through this birth. Okay, my pile too. I I hope this brought the clarity and the need that you you needed at this time. I send you lots of love. I send you a big hug. Like I feel like you guys are probably going through a very emotional time as well. So I'm sending you a big hug for you guys because again, this is time to give to yourself than rather take. Okay, my pile. No more giving for free. No more. All right, my pile too. So I'll talk to you soon. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time all right last pile pile three so what is it that you need to know what is currently lurking in the shadows from a pile three so just give me a second while i connect with your guys's energy here so pile three pile three what is it that they need to know what is currently lurking in the shadow Ooh, i feel like for you guys what is currently lurking in the shadow is ideas okay it's this sense of clarity towards um new seeds currently blooming because i feel like there's a lot of seeds right now that are currently blooming because i feel like maybe something hasn't really been happening a lot hasn't really been happening i feel like there's a lot of um curious energy also in the shadows lurking for you guys hmm what up Yeah, I feel like the your your shadow right now is preparing you for a bloom of a seed. Pile three, pile three. What is currently lurking in the shadow? Pile three. Knight of Swords. Yeah, there's like again, there's this idea. There's this bloom of a new seed here. But I feel like you're not here yet. So we have Pond. We have 21. What is it funny to know? Page of Cups. I feel like, again, there's a lot of inspiration, ideas, creativity in the shadows for you right now and i feel like this this well because i know this is a pawn but i'm seeing it as a well i feel like there's a need to kind of go within with this knight of swords especially with the this knight you know she kind of looks like it's shoving a, a sword down his throat so again there's a need to go within to look within because the ideas are within yourself so the shadow that is calling you is within because there's no new creativity here. There's new assessments here. There's a mix mixture of things here. There's a collaboration of energies here. Energies want to collaborate with you, whether it be, you know, physically a person, whether it be spiritually, you know, um, the universe wanting to co-create and manifest and help you manifest and create something here, mix something here, alchemize something here. But this is about inspiration. This is about creativity. Pile three, pile three. What is current lurking in the shadows? Messenger, yep. There's a lot of messages for you. A lot of answers for you within yourself. I feel like um, the universe has been trying to connect with you. Whether you see it as spirit, whatever you see it as ancestors, whether you see it as your spiritual guides, whatever it is. We have show self-respect.
And with this card, with the show self-respect, I'm getting it as you haven't given yourself time to kind of go within. You haven't given yourself time maybe even to bring self-care. You haven't given yourself time to slow down here. You haven't given yourself time to kind of, you know, dance with the universe here. To be in balance because things have been out of balance here. And in order to bring balance back here is by dancing with your shadows. Because there is kind of a mistrust here that I'm hearing. And I feel like this is kind of disrespecting your own energy, disrespecting your own creativity, your own potential, your own magician energy. Because nothing is set in stone right now. And you're dwelling over something that is not set in stone right now. You're dwelling on something that it's that it's not meant to stay in your life or that it's not meant to be like this forever. So you're dwelling on a on a situation, on a moment, on a piece of page, on an emotion. Pile three, pile three, pile three. It's currently lurking in the shadow. Many mask, the authentic self, intent and create, exactly. There is magic in the shadows lurking for you right now. There is intention, there's masculine energy waiting for you, but there's a need to bring balance between your masculine and your feminine, between the light and the shadow, however you want to see it. Because there's new ideas here. There's something here that you're meant to create. But you are in this energy that you're dwelling over a situation that it's not meant to be like this for a long time. Or that it's not set in stone here. Star bathing, light, body, crystal grid, transmission, activation. We have mushrooms. I feel like with this bathing, um, star bathing card, it's giving me energy of of getting all these activations or get, trying to get all these awakenings, whether you're getting, you know, ear ringing, a lot of ear ringing, a lot of um, spirit sensation around you and feeling around you. But again, there's a need to kind of pull back and go within my pile three. There's something hidden here from you guys. You There's a lot of hidden potential from you guys here. There's a lot of quiet growth that has been happening. But again, you guys are dwelling over something because you don't see the manifestation or you haven't been seeing the physical manifestation. But what this mushroom, it has been growing underneath because just like the mushroom, you know, sometimes you're like, where the fuck did it come out, you know? It, it wasn't there yesterday or the day before. And then all of a sudden there's all these mushrooms because it was growing underground. And then it just, boop, sprouted. And I guess what I was talking in the beginning here. There's a burst of new ideas, a burst of seeds. Stuff has been happening under the surface, but you guys have been seeing it because you guys have been focused on something else here. The heart of the sky. That's a pretty pick. That's a pretty card. This is the first time I pull it, I think, in this deck. The heart of the sky. Surrender resentments. And the coyote. The coyote gives me a lot of energy of blending in or hiding from the surroundings. Um, always lurking in the shadows. Always being in the shadows. And I feel like you guys... This is creating a lot of resentment in your life. And this is also a reminder of what you feed into or what you place your energy is what's going to grow here with this mushroom card as well. I want to look at the book for this card because I did it for the other pile. So I'm just going to do it for all of them. Let's see. Card 24. So the heart of the sky brings you a sacred reminder. You are a channel for original energy of creation. 
Become the paintbrush, the canvas, the artist, all guided by the heart of, of sky. Set your intention ethically and clearly and allow the universe to take care of the details. You may feel responsible for every, everything and everyone. Perhaps you think you have it, you have to do it all alone. This takes you into a dark hole where you lose trust in the natural order of the cosmos. Shed your lofty sense of duty and recognize that this is a false prison for your own making. You can open the door and set yourself free in an instant. So again, you can make things bloom. You can make miracles happen. The next stage is like the mushroom. By believing in the heart of the sky, by believing that you can and knowing that you have the power to do so, to by dancing with the universe, by co-creating with the universe. Okay, because you are a light body, you are a spirit in a in a physical body. But again, there's a lack of trust within you guys, a la lack of faith because of the things that maybe of the situation where you find yourself. Because again, nothing has really been happening, or because you haven't been seeing the the growth of your manifestation here, but maybe it hasn't been happy because you guys have been keeping your guys self in the dark have you been putting yourself out there have you been putting yourself your stuff out there have you been putting your energy out there have you been putting your manifestations out there your creations and if so how quietly have you been doing it are you doing it behind a mask or are you doing authentically okay and this is about doing things that you love and things that are aligned with your purpose and your heart space. But my pile too, I feel like there's a lot of frustration, a lot of resentment because I feel like a lot of you guys see things happen for other people and you're like, what the fuck? What about me? Why isn't things happening for me? Why isn't I'm not receiving the same success and I'm doing the same work while I'm even working harder than others? Why am I not seeing the same success? Success And why do, why do they see their success quicker than I do? And again, seeing things that way is creating resentment in my pile three. Okay, so transmit this energy and especially if you're feeling this way and you start getting, you know, an ear ringing, like I said, and that's just kind of, you know, your, your guy sending you energy like, hey, awaken to your own energy. You, you have the potential to create empires. You have the potential to create big corporations. You have the potential to create heaven on earth. You have so much potential. But once you realize this, it's when you're going to be able to take your fate and your purpose into your own hands. My pile three. OK, so new magic, new potential, new skills, new tools are waiting for you and are lurking in the shadows. But you need to be able to go within and, f and fight your own demons and go through these masks and find your authentic self. What is it that you want to do instead of hiding yourself in the darkness, in the and blending in with the environment, with your, with your community, allowing yourself to be your authentic self and allowing yourself to be your weird self and allowing yourself to showcase your skills and talents and be the magician that you deserve to be because you are the magician here with the high priest. But first we need to go within, we need to act from from a space of the heart space with a page of cups instead of acting from the ego because that's what's only creating resentment for us my pile three and this is disrespecting our own energy because what the fuck look at who you are like and like i'm literally like i'm getting put some respect on my name like who, like who are you like you put some respect on yourself on your skills and your talents and the things that you bring and you create because that's how you're going to bring the change and the and the blessings or the manifestation the miracles happen overnight but if you don't then okay how do you expect you know miracles to be born out of nothing because mushrooms are miracles are born in the darkness okay so bring harmony and balance within yourself, my pile two, my pile three, okay? Dance with your shadow. Don't be disgraced by your shadow here, my pile three, because that's what's going to allow you to step into your authentic self, okay? And allow you to release the resentment here. And this is what creates the inner chaos or that storm in your life and where it just makes you want to just give up or even have this frustration and there's all this anger within you because of the situations, Okay? So I hope this helps. I hope this resonated. Let me know what you guys think. My pile three. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.